There is a new type of battery. The manufacturers of this battery, the researchers, the scientists, the engineers, they say that this battery has the potential to have four times as much energy storage, four times as much energy density as current lithium ion batteries. If that is true, it would be the dawn of a new era. It would be the dawn of a new world. The potential of this battery, if it is real, if it can be produced and mass manufactured, which the more the people say it can, it would be an absolute game changer. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting my current campaign to try and raise funds to help save my wife with her cancer diagnosis, stage four cancer, incurable cancer. Um, we think that uh, things are starting to improve based on the treatment she is getting. Thanks to you guys for supporting us. I think around 3% of the subscribers on the channel have supported the campaign. So thank you so much to those of you who have. If you'd like to do so, I will put a link in the description to her campaign. You can see what's going on there. You can see and find out what's actually happening. So lithium air batteries, I'm sure you've heard of them before. However, there's been some new development. For those of you that haven't heard of the lithium air battery, a lithium air battery is a metal air electrochemical cell or battery chemistry that uses oxidation of lithium at the anode and reduction of oxygen at the cathode to induce a current flow. So it's very different to a traditional lithium ion battery. In fact, it's very different to any other battery that the world has ever seen. Pairing lithium and ambient oxygen can theoretically lead to electrochemical cells with the highest possible specific energy, way higher than anything else. The theoretical specific energy of a non-aqueous lithium air battery in the charged state is four times higher than our current lithium technology. And some people say it has the potential to be five times greater than today's current lithium batteries that have been deployed in electric cars. However, the practical power and life cycle of lithium air batteries need significant improvements before they can find a market niche. That appears to actually be happening. Now, people were saying that there was four different approaches to making these batteries actually work. And those were a protic, aqueous, solid state, and mixed aqueous apotic. However, solid state appears to be the version that are now about to hit the market. But first, originally proposed in the 1970s as a possible power source for battery electric vehicles, and hybrid electric vehicles, lithium air batteries recaptured scientific interest late in the first decade of the 21st century due to advances in materials science. Now, although the idea of a lithium air battery was around long before 1996, the risk to benefit ratio was perceived as too high to pursue this kind of technology, but things have changed since then. Indeed, both the negative lithium metal and the positive air or oxygen electrodes are the reasons why respectively rechargeable lithium metal batteries failed to reach the market in the 1970s. The lithium ion battery in a mobile device uses a graphite compound on the negative electrode, not a lithium metal. Nevertheless, due to a perceived lack of other alternatives to high specific energy rechargeable batteries and due to some initially promising results from academic labs, both the number of patents and of free domain publications related to lithium oxygen or lithium air batteries began growing massively, exponentially in fact, in 2006. However, the technical difficulties of facing such batteries, especially recharging times, nitrogen and water sensitivity, and the intrinsic poor conductivity of the charged lithium oxygen species are major challenges. But this brings us to where we are today. A new design for a lithium air battery will offer a much longer driving range. And it's said that these batteries will in fact be deployed in cars relatively soon. Many owners of electric cars have want more range and fair enough i want more range absolutely 
And this new battery technology could in theory power a car for more than 1,300 miles of range in the real world. It's that good on a single charge, of course. Now, researchers at the Illinois Institute of Technology and the US Department of Energy had developed a lithium air battery that could make that dream a reality, says Clean Technica. The team's new battery design could also one day power domestic airplanes and long haul trucks. And of course, even rockets. I mean, we're talking five times the energy density. Maybe it could even be used to power spaceflight. The main new component in this lithium air battery is a solid electrolyte instead of the usual liquid variety being used in the past. Now, batteries with solid electrolytes are not subject to safety issues with liquid electrolytes setting themselves, basically that can set themselves on fire that are used in lithium, ion, and other batteries. And that's one of the big benefits to this battery type. So is the energy density. The lithium air battery has the highest projected energy density of any battery technology being considered for the next generation of batteries beyond lithium ion, said Larry Curtis at the Argonne Institute. Basically, you've got an expert here saying, this is a real technology that could be used in the next generation of electric cars. It's really very possible and probably much more likely to be so than solid state batteries themselves. Although this is a variation of a solid state battery when you think about it. Now, importantly, the team's battery chemistry with the solid electrolyte can potentially boost energy density by four and potentially five times above current lithium iron and lithium iron phosphate battery technology. That translates into much, much, much longer driving range, obviously. For over a decade, scientists at Argonne and elsewhere have been working over time to develop a lithium battery that makes use of oxygen in the air, said Larry Curtis, an Argonne Distinguished Fellow. The lithium air battery has the highest projected energy density of any battery technology being considered for the next generation of batteries beyond lithium ion. In past lithium air designs, the lithium in a lithium metal anode moves through a liquid electrolyte to combine with oxygen during the discharge, yielding lithium peroxide or superoxide at the cathode. The lithium peroxide or superoxide is then broken back down into its lithium and oxygen components during the charge. This chemical sequence stores and releases energy on demand. The team's new solid electrolyte is composed of a ceramic polymer material made from relatively inexpensive elements in nanoparticle form. This new solid enables chemical reactions that produce lithium oxide on discharge. The chemical reaction for lithium superoxide or peroxide only involves one or two electrons stored per oxygen molecule, whereas that for lithium oxide involves four electrons, said argon chemist Rashid Amin. More electrons stored means higher energy density. The team's lithium air design is the first lithium air battery that has achieved a four electron reaction at room temperature. It also operates with oxygen supplied by air from the surrounding environment. The capability to run with air avoids the need for oxygen tanks to operate a problem with earlier battery designs. So rather than actually use oxygen tanks, they've worked out a way to make this battery actually suck air out of the atmosphere around it and simply use that air. It's a big benefit. The team has employed many different techniques to establish that the four electron reaction was really taking place. One key technique they used was transmission electron microscopy or TEM of the discharge products on the cathode surface, which was carried out at Argonne Center for Nanoscale Materials, a Department of Energy Office of Science user facility. The TEM images provided valuable insight into the four electron discharge mechanism. Past lithium air test cells suffered from very short life cycles. That's the big problem with these types of batteries, lithium air, short life cycles. That has to change for them to actually work in electric cars. The team established that this shortcoming is not the case for their new battery design by building and operating a test cell for 1000 cycles, demonstrating its stability over repeated charge and discharge. In other words, this battery 
is the first lithium air design ever made that could actually work. In fact, that will actually work in an electric car. With further development, we expect our new design for the lithium air battery to also reach a record energy density of 1,200 watt hours per kilogram, said Curtis. That is nearly four times better than lithium ion batteries. That is changing the way we make batteries. The amount of lithium therefore needed in a car that might have say average range of 600 kilometers, so say around about 380 miles, would be a quarter of what we use today. As you can see, the US Department of Energy is actually developing some amazing things. I've, had, I've made a series of videos on the technological advances that are happening actually at the moment by the United States government or in conjunction by the United States government with other laboratories, with other entrepreneurs, with other companies. It's pretty amazing what they're doing. It appears to me as though they have actually worked out how to commercialize or at least how to make a lithium air battery work in the real world. And it's not the way you think. I mean, everyone thought we'd go the aqueous route, but they didn't. It turned out the solid state route was the best and it was the one that actually works the easiest. Will we see these soon? I don't think so. I think we're looking at around about 10 years from now before we start to see these batteries in electric cars. But will we see them in cars? We very well could. It could even be the real solid state battery solution that the market is looking for. This may give a better result than the solid state batteries being worked on by some of the world's biggest, most well-known solid state battery companies. Let me know your thoughts though in the comments. Do you think this will work? What do you think of this technology? Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.